your Chicago is so elite, these parents out on the West Coast weren't even trying to get their kids into Professor Rajan's Chicago. They were looking at other lower schools like that one in Cambridge in Massachusetts as well. Rago, just simply your thoughts on the desperation to buy academics in America. Well, this is very worrisome, right? Because uh, on the one hand, we already have a skewing of opportunities. You have to go to the elite schools to get those elite jobs, and, and then you get, uh, you know, uh, zillions. But for most of us uh, out there, it's very hard to even take the first step. And then you read that it's not just about legacies, it's not just about preparation schools which help you prepare your applications, but it's about buying your way in illegally through corruption. That, that, that's really a blow to the system, and we need to clean this up as quickly as possible You had make a, sure you, it's not happening. You, professor, you had a most interesting childhood in India. Well, I won't go into it all, but like many others, you traveled around the world with your father in diplomacy and enforcement for India as well. And you were acutely aware of the path for you through university in India and then on to your acclaimed world excellence. Is the place those students took is it a place from someone of the middle class, or is it a place of someone who just went below that level of whatever school and they just eked out not going to that fancy school? Well, I, I think it is a concern that uh, so many people don't get a chance uh, to really get into these good schools. First, uh, you need a level of ambition in some of these schools outside the big cities, which tells you really the way to uh, progress is to go to these, high, uh, these uh, Ivy League schools and from there get those wonderful jobs. Many students don't even have that ambition because they don't have access to good college counselors who tell them that's out there waiting for you. There are lots of scholarships. Please do apply. And even if they, they do hear that, the next step of doing the college tests, of writing the good applications, uh, of getting past those hurdles is very difficult. So when you hear that there are separate tracks here, uh, I think it creates a whole uh, lot of new anxiety over and above what we already have. Professor, does, does this feed populism? Do these kind of scandals, the idea that actually the elite and the rich can get whatever they want, Will it lead to people voting to more extreme parties? Of course, because I think the sense that the system is skewed, even before you add on corruption to it, is already there. That uh, the elite look after themselves. I call it the... Uh, we, we have a meritocracy, but it's a hereditary meritocracy. Only the children of the successful get a chance at being successful because of the extreme importance of a really good education. So given that, when you add on to that corruption, and after all, what is populism? It's ultimately the corruption of the elite. They're not working for us, they're working for themselves. It leads to a significant amount of distrust in the system. So uh, my sense is this is yeah. one of those scandals which, is, uh, which has to be cleaned up very, very quickly.